Tomorrow is waiver deadline day, so let me tell you who future you will be happy to have added to your roster. Did you say future field? I did, Daniel. Let me take you to the future, all the way to week 12 of the 2017 NFL season. What, what the? I'm, I'm bald just five days into the future? Yeah, buddy, you sure are. Hosting this show really ages a man. You know how Matthew just sort of looks like hell all the time? Yeah, of course. Yeah, most people don't know this. He's only 24 years old. Oh. Anyways, I'll let you get back to your stuff, Paul Jates. Good luck. Thanks, Daniel. So here are all the guys people should have picked up for Week 12. Remember, all these players were available in more than 50% of leagues. Or were available, I should say, now that I'm in the future. Samaj P. Ryan, available in 72% of leagues. He stepped into a starting role replacing Rob Kelly in Week 10, handling 23 carries for 117 yards and a touchdown. With Chris Thompson also out, P. Ryan became a must-add in all leagues. And here in the future, I can tell you that he got 20 touches in Week 12. How about Corey Coleman? It didn't take long for him to assimilate back into the Browns offense as he posted six catches on an 80 yards on 11 targets. Coleman is easily Cleveland's most talented wideout and is a legit flex option in PPR leagues. People who picked him up for Week 12 sure were happy. Kenny Still still has eight more targets in four of the past five games and in Week 11 posted seven catches for 180 yards and a touchdown. Regardless of who played quarterback for the Dolphins, the fantasy players of the future still found Stills to be a legit flex option. And finally, Tyrod Taylor. He was QB 12 on the season and available in most leagues thanks to, well, Sean McDermott. He ends the season with a favorable schedule with games against Indianapolis and a pair of matchups against the Patriots and Dolphins. And here in the future, I can tell you that he put up top 12 QB numbers in week number 12 against the Chiefs.